controller, controller Yeah, like controller, controller Yeah, okay, you like it when I get Okay. Hey guys, it's me here, and I decided to do a story time. Okay, so I decided to do a story time today, and the title might seem a little yikes. <sighs> stung by a scorpion. I don't know if you say stung, but like the little the thing that stinks, like that injects venom. Yeah, that. So, there's a point in my life I didn't get stung. <sighs> okay. That clickbait though, am I right? Okay, no. Um, my friend got stung by a scorpion. I was saying, you're lying. You're lying. You did not get stung. Well, your friend did not get stung by a scorpion. You're lying. I know you're lying. I'm not. I swear. I swear. Okay, I'm not lying. It was so crazy. I'm not sure how old I was. Yeah, I tried doing this in a white backdrop, but I, I don't think it's working. But. My friend, my best friend, she was one of my best friends. This was back when I lived in Mexico. I used to live there, I think I was about three or four when this happened. And my friend, let's call her Popcorn because her name started with a P. So let's name her Popcorn. I don't want to say her real name. So one day we were on the playground at my little kindergarten or preschool or whatever it was. I was just there with my friend, and we were on, there was just two sets of swings, right? Okay. But so picture this. It's a school, and there's a building over there, and we're out for recess, because the teacher said we could go to recess. I'm not sure what this light is. What is that? Um, she said we could go out for recess, right? And we were just so happy when we heard recess. We were just like, I love recess. I love it. Okay, there was these tires that were colorful, they were like spray painted or something, and they were dug into the ground, and you would just jump over the tires, go through the hole of the tire, well half of it, because like, half of it was in the ground, and here's just a tire like that, and they were just painted blue, green, the rainbow, it was so awesome, and the swings were always taken, and so was a little kitchen, there was like this little kitchen inside of the school, we had no chance of the, of the school, so one day we planned, we're gonna go, super quick running to the swings outside because the kitchen the kids that sit in the back are obviously going to get up turn around and there's the kitchen so we because we sit more in front and more to the door so she says recess we stand up we run outside and we get on the swings so there's just two swings that's why they're always taken by kids that run faster and we were just we were just faster that time. I, I don't know. We made it. We made it to the swings, okay? So we make it to the swings, and we're swinging back and forth, and we're having so much fun. And my friend Popcorn, she's on the left side of me, and I'm on the right side, okay? And we're just having the time, of, and we're having the time of our lives, swinging back and forth, because we're just like, we are so cool. We are on the swings. We're on the swings. Because we are never on the swings, okay? We were always on the tires. And the tires weren't the coolest. I mean, we thought they were pretty cool, but everyone didn't think they were pretty cool. The swings and the kitchen were the bomb. We knew we didn't have a chance for the kitchen because we had to be like, get out! So we went to swings a couple hours. So she's on the left and I'm on the right. And we're just having so much fun swinging back and forth. We feel like it's the time of our lives. We feel so cool. <laughs> Let me tell you. Until I see her spring up out of the swing i'm just like what happened what happened and then she just starts crying she can't speak okay and she starts pointing to the back of her heel like like let me show you okay so this is gonna be real gross but right here she starts pointing out right there okay and she's just like <laughs> she just starts pointing to her leg and i see this scorpion just crawl away I just see it crawl away, and I see her breathing for air, and I'm just like, <gasps> sorry for my little brother. He's just watching the Minions movie. So, I see her just breathing for air, and I'm just like, what's what's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, so yeah, I see her gasping for air. I'm sorry, I had to go do something. But I see her trying to breathe. I'm just like, oh, what's going on? I was freaking out, okay? And... I see the scorpion crawl away and then 
I don't know what to do. I'm paralyzed. And then she just knocks over to the floor. Face first. And the floor isn't floor. We're outside. And, like, the ground doesn't have grass on it, okay? It's just literally dirt with sprinkled rocks everywhere to make it look a little bit better, okay? It's Mexico. There is no grass over there in that kindergarten area. It was dirt with rocks sprinkled over it. So she falls face first, and I don't know what to do. So the scorpion is off. He is off to sing someone else. And I run and try to see what she, like, uh, uh, like, like her head, I'm just like, what's wrong? And then, like, she is just knocked out. I'm just like, did she die? Did the scorpion kill her? I wanted to cry, and my eyes were tearing up so bad. So I run, and I start screaming her name. I'm just like, popcorn got stung. Popcorn got stung by a scorpion. And, and everyone just starts screaming, and they're like, where is it? I'm just like, it went over there by the tree that was, there was a tree right here, and the swings were right here, because the tree branch was holding up the swings. So it went to the tree over there to the tree i was like it's behind the tree it's behind the tree and like these two older people like they're not older they're just taller or and it's a guy two guys and they're just like they run into the room they're like we have to tell her we have to tell the teacher and i'm just like <gasps> and i just i run into the she just um back into the, the room where the desk are and stuff to a, little, to a little school it's just a room really but it's like a little school i'm just like i ran back in and i'm just like uh popcorn got stung by a scorpion i don't know what to do and the teacher just gasped and then she ran outside and she she picks her up brings her back into the into the um the little room we were in the little room that we were in sorry my little brother just touched me because he's watching a movie over there okay okay um so we run, we pick her up, we run her, we take her to the, you know, and on the teacher's desk, we, we put her on there, like, she's laying down, and my teacher, uh, cleans the wound or something, I don't know what she does, but she's cleaning it, and puts a thing over it, and just calls the ambulance, and these people come get her, and take her to the hospital, and her parents are there, and they, they're telling me, hey, what happened? I was like, she got stung, I was just crying my eyes out, she's my best friend, she, well, she wasn't my best friend, and, and I'm just like, I, I was so I was so shocked. I was just really shocked, and that was all I remember from the story. And then after that, I just remember her going to the hospital, and me being so sad, and telling my mom. And I think all the kids got picked up from school because they they had to kill the scorpion, and they didn't want the kids seeing that. So they were just like, oh, y'all gotta go home early. This light. <laughs> okay, but it was just so crazy too crazy i was just like i've been scarred for life and after that i'm pretty sure i moved to a new kindergarten because that one was really unsafe there was outside and things like that and the scorpions were lots of them were on the set but none of them actually ever stung like none of them no except for that one because that one was kind of mad but that was really the story and i'm sorry i don't have a good ending i don't know what happened to her I don't, my mind is just a blur. All I remember was that little section of the story, but after that, I can't remember a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if she died. I hope she didn't die because like, Popcorn was my best friend, like forever. Um, she had super long hair and it was so pretty. I just, she was, she always had her hair down and like a little ribbon tied here. I remember it was a green ribbon that a specific day, I think it was. I'm not sure. But, yeah, after that, I never saw her again. Like, maybe I did. I don't remember. My mind is a blur. I can't remember anything that happened after that. But if if she died, I'm so sorry. I don't think she did. I'm pretty sure she didn't. I'm pretty sure she went to the hospital, got cured. Um, hospitals aren't in Mexico aren't that good, so I'm not sure. I feel so bad now like I don't know what happened to her and I can't tell y'all what happened because I don't remember but bye my little froggies I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and I know it was super crazy but it's what happened and I, I am just scarred I'm pretty sure I moved to a new kindergarten but I'm not sure that's why maybe that's why I didn't remember after that because I'm pretty sure after that I got signed to a new school but I'm not sure but I hope you guys enjoyed that story time. This ugly backdrop is so ugly. I'm probably going to change it. Because it's just white.
I have a blue thing over there, and I really want to use that, but I, I didn't use it. But I hope you guys enjoy the story time. I know it was a little bit crazy, and it might be hard to believe, but I'm just scarred for life. So, bye, my little friends. Please subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Please, like, come on. Like, I told you something real personal, and I just, I feel really bad for her. Like, what if it was me getting stung? Like, what if it was me? Like, how horrible would her, how does her parents feel? I don't know. But, bye. Please subscribe. But bye. I never run away, even when I'm away. O-T-O-T, -O -T, there's never much love when we go.